With CGM Graybox, you could use stable diffusion to texture any model. Frame your shot in the projection camera and then hit Generate. Here we have batch count set to 4, so we get 4 options generated off of our mesh. Let's pick this one. Projection works on multiple meshes in the scene. Let's generate a couple more. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Let's set it as our projection. And let's bake the projection as a texture on all of the meshes. As you can see, a lot of detail is being lost. So let's reframe the shot and start bringing back those details. We need to readjust our depth sliders for this new camera position. And let's adjust the prompt a little bit to make sure we're getting the skull. And now generate. Now we have four more options to choose from. Let's go with this one. And bake the projection to just the skull mesh. Now let's go to the Edit tab and adjust the multiple projections. Just select the mesh you're working with and the tab is refreshed with all of the projections on that mesh. Here we have the ability to fine-tune our projection mask using options for facing ratio to the camera, distance based off the depth map, and vignette off the projected frame. Now let's get a detail for the chest plate. We'll just reframe our projection camera for a good full view of it. Adjust the prompt so the image generator knows what to focus on. And we'll set the image to image pass to composite, which will render the current pass with its color information and use that to guide the resulting image so we don't get too far off from the initial projection. Let's adjust the depth sliders again for this new camera. And generate. We set the resolution to 1024 by 1024, so now the generated image is significantly more detailed. Let's assign this one as the projection. We also have a few other options to choose from, but the first one looked pretty good. Now let's bake the new projection onto the helmet and chest plate, and adjust the projection layers in the Edit tab so the new projection takes priority. Now let's do a test render to see what we have. The chest plate and helmet are looking pretty good. Now we could go on to detail the rest of the model. For more, come join our Discord server.